1812, America was still an infant democracy, but it had taken steps toward becoming a world power. John Adams, who succeeded George Washington as president, had taken the first steps to build a U.S. Navy. Six frigates provided the country's main naval power. Warship construction was planned for the future. By the time James Madison became president and tensions with England over the impressment of sailors came to a boiling point, America had a navy. But in numbers, it paled in comparison to the mighty British fleet, which had more than 600 cruisers and many more smaller vessels. Even though it was distracted by a war with France, the Royal Navy was still able to overwhelm the small American naval force. Though small in number, the six U.S. frigates had plenty of fight and sometimes entered a battle with superior firepower to their British adversary. The U.S. frigates included USS Constitution, Old Ironsides, USS Constellation, USS Chesapeake, commanded by Captain James Lawrence, who uttered the immortal command, don't give up the ship. USS President, USS Congress, and USS United States. While the Royal Navy easily dispatched many of America's smaller vessels, it found the frigates to be formidable foes. The standard British frigate of the day was rated as a 38-gun ship, with its main battery consisting of 18 pounders. They often found themselves outmatched in encounters with the Constitution, the President, and the United States, which were rated as 44-gun ships and were capable of carrying 56 guns with a main battery of 24 pounders. It was these battles that kept America in the War of 1812 and attained an important place in the history of naval warfare. <laughs>